Hey everyone, my name is Courtney, I'm with Crafty Corner, and today I'm excited because I'm going to walk you through the differences between the Cricut Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Maker. And hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better idea of which machine is right for you and your crafting. In this video I'm going to do a brief overview of both machines, talk about the differences, and then hopefully ask you a few questions that will help you decide on the right machine. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start looking at the Cricut Explore Air 2. This is an incredible die cutting machine that can cut over a hundred different materials materials, and it can actually cut two times faster than previous models. On the Air 2, you can cut all of your everyday crafting materials like iron-on, vinyl, paper, and it can even cut specialty materials like leather and felt. The machine is compatible with three different blades. There's the fine point blade, which is a standard blade that comes with every machine, the deep point blade, and a fabric bonded blade. The Air 2 also has the ability to score using a scoring stylus, and it can also write and draw using pens or markers. To control your cutting settings, all you have to do is twist the smart dial on the side of the machine and easily choose which material you're cutting. The Air 2 is also Bluetooth compatible, which is super nice. You're able to connect to your phone or your tablet or your computer if it has Bluetooth and craft without the cords all hanging in the way. We absolutely love the Cricut Explore Air 2. It is a great die cutting machine and it's a budget friendly option as well. All right, now let's take a look at the Cricut Maker. The Maker is known as the ultimate smart cutting machine, and that's for a good reason. While the Air 2 can cut over 100 different materials, the Cricut Maker can actually cut over 300 different materials. And this is all thanks to the advanced technology that the Maker has called the Adaptive Tool System. Because of this, the Maker has 10 times the cutting power, which means it can cut more materials with more pressure than ever before. So with the Maker, you can use all of the tools and blades that the Air 2 can use, you have the fine point blade, the deep point blade, and the bonded fabric blade. The maker can also score using a scoring stylus or draw using pens and markers. But now thanks to the adaptive tool system, there are tools that are specific only to the Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker can also use the rotary blade, which cuts fabric, a scoring wheel, there's a single scoring wheel and a double scoring wheel for scoring. There's also the knife blade, which is basically like a little exacto knife and can cut through really thick materials like basswood, chipboard, and heavy leather. The Maker also has an engraving tip that you can use, a debossing tip, a perforation blade, and a wavy blade. Alright, so there's a super brief overview of the Air 2 and the Cricut Maker. So now you might be wondering, okay, that's great, but what really are the biggest differences between the machines? And the answer is actually pretty simple. The biggest difference between the Air 2 and the Maker is that the Maker has the adaptive tool system and the Air 2 does not have that technology. The adaptive tool system has technology that allows your blades and tips to be able to move from side to side, up and down, and to actually be able to lift and turn a complete 360 degrees. The Explore machines have drag blade technology that allows the machine to move the blade up and down and cut side to side. And while you can still cut an amazing number of materials with the drag blade technology, the materials have to be stabilized on the mat Otherwise, when the blade moves through, the fibers will get caught in the blade. Aside from technology, there are some design differences between the machines as well. I think the Cricut Maker has more of a modern, sleek looking design than the Air 2, and the Maker also has a little bit more storage in the machine, but really not by much. The Air 2 has a smart dial on it to be able to control what material you're cutting, and you'll notice that on the Cricut Maker, they've actually removed that, and you'll have to choose your material either on your phone, your tablet, or your computer um, when you're in design space. Lastly, there is a USB port on the side of the Cricut Maker that allows you to charge your tablet or your phone while you're using it. And there also is a mobile device dock on the top of the Maker that allows you to put your phone or your tablet um, in so you can just set it there while you're crafting. All right, so there you have it. Those are the main differences between the two machines. It's the cutting technology um, and then some slight design differences as well. So now the question is, which machine is right for you? This is a question that we get all the time from our customers and it's a really important one. When deciding on a machine, I think there are three questions you have to ask yourself to help you decide which one is best for you and your crafting needs. The first question is, what do I intend to make with my Cricut? I actually think this is one of the most important questions to ask yourself. What kind of projects do I want to make? What materials do I want to work with? If you can answer that question, I think this can easily lead you to the machine that's right for you. If you're mostly wanting to work with vinyl, iron-on, paper, so you can make things like t-shirts and adding vinyl decals, 
or infusible ink, then the Air 2 might be a great option for you because it can do all of those things. And it can even do some specialty things as well, like cutting leather, cutting fabric that has a bonded backing to it, or even cutting felt. However, if you want to do all of that and more, like trying out new techniques and materials, such as cutting basswood, cutting fabric without a backing, um, engraving on leather, then the Maker might be the right machine for you. So at the end of the day, one of the biggest and I think most helpful questions you can ask yourself is, what do I intend to make with my Cricut? All right, I think the second question that we have to ask in deciding between the Air 2 and the Maker is, do I need to have the newest technology? Or if new technology comes out, am I going to be content with what I have and if it's not compatible with the newest technology? Cricut has been very vocal that any advances in machine technology is going to come to the Cricut Maker. So any new blades and tips are going to happen with the Maker. For example, just this past summer, they released four new blades and tips. So this suite of blades and tips is just going to continue to expand. I think another way to ask this question is, if I purchase an Air 2 and this new um, technology keeps continuing to come out for the Maker, am I going to be content with what I have knowing that the new blades and tips won't work for my machine? Or do I think that I'll be bummed and wish that I had gotten the Maker in the end? If you're the kind of person that always likes to have the newest technology when it comes out, then the Maker might be the right machine for you. Or if you're like, yeah, using a new blade or tip like the perforation blade might be really cool, but would I actually use it in my crafting? If the answer is no, then the Air 2 might be right for you. So I think just asking yourself what you'd be most content with, knowing that new advances in technology will come out and it will be for the Maker. All right, last question. And it might seem like an obvious one, but I definitely think it's an important one. What is the best option for my budget? The Air 2 is definitely the budget-friendly option when it comes to the two machines. For example, it's typically around $100 to $150 cheaper than the Cricut Maker. I know it seems fairly obvious to say, but don't spend outside your means. Because remember, once you buy your machine, you're also going to want to buy materials like vinyl or iron-on, and then you're going to need to buy blanks like t-shirts or mugs to make those projects. So just remember, you're going to buy your machine, but then you will need to buy materials and blanks and eventually more mats, more blades. So just remember that there are going to be additional costs as well after you buy the machine. Or maybe you want to buy additional tools to help you in your crafting. So just remember that you get your machine, but you're also probably going to be spending a little bit more money after that. But if your budget allows you to spend the extra $100 to $150 to get the Maker, then maybe just upgrade. But you can also consider other options. For example, the Cricut Easy Press 6x7 inch machine runs around $100. So instead of spending the extra $100 to get the Maker, you could spend the $100 and get an Easy Press, which I highly recommend. Or maybe you want to stock up and get a bunch of vinyl, some new tools to work with, some extra mats, things like that. So all this to say, if you have the extra $100 to $150, you can upgrade to the Maker or maybe you want to invest that some other way in your crafting. Okay, all this to say, just consider your budget, do your research, and do what's best for you. Alright, so to recap the three questions. First, what do I intend to make with my Cricut? Do I want to do all the new and cool things and work with a lot of specialty materials like basswood and chipboard? Or do I think I'm primarily going to use my Cricut for vinyl and paper and iron-on? Ask yourself that question and then decide which machine is right for you. The second question is, do I need to have the newest technology? Remember that new blades and tips will come to the Cricut Maker and not necessarily to the Air 2. So just ask yourself if you are the kind of person that likes to stay up to date on technology or if you'll be content having um, the Air 2 knowing that additional advances will come out. The last question is, what is the best option for my budget? So those are the three questions. I think if you can answer them honestly, they'll help to point you in the right direction for which machine is right for you. So I hope that you found this video helpful in deciding whether you wanna go the Air 2 route or the Maker. If you have any questions at all like, hey, can the Air 2 cut this? Or what's your experience with this? Just drop them in the comments below and one of us on our team here at Crafty Corner 
would love to help you out. I've also listed all of the machines that we sell on our website and the bundles that they're in in the description below. So definitely go check that out if you're looking for a machine to purchase. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly hope that it was helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe to our channel for more Cricut videos. Thanks so much you guys.